In this episode of Flying Doodles, we meet Tom Grove and his 1979 Piper Tomahawk. I am not exaggerating when I say it is quite possibly the nicest Piper Tomahawk out there. This panel would rival even the newest airplanes. So let's get to know Tom and his Piper Tomahawk. Thanks for coming over today. I appreciate you giving me a chance to show off my little Piper Tomahawk. It's a 1979 model PA38-112 Tomahawk. My primary interest in aviation uh, got started, I guess, when I was a kid. I used to build models like most kids, you know. I had a my whole ceiling and every, every spare inch of my bedroom was filled up with model airplanes of some sort. Never really had the money to go buy a license, but when I got into college, uh, my roommate, uh, the first semester, had his commercial pilot's license. So I would start reading all his flying magazines. He took me out to the airport. and We spent a lot of time walking through airplanes, looking at Cessna 150s and Cessna 310s. And I was, of course, like everybody in awe of how much instruments were in this airplane. Still didn't quite have the money to fly, so I wound up going into the Army, became a helicopter pilot. So I was in the Army as a helicopter pilot for about three and a half years. Got my airplane ratings, and I left the Army, went down to Houston, and got a job as a charter helicopter pilot. I flew helicopters initially for about eight months for them, and they liked me, and I got a lucky break. And they offered me a job to be a co-pilot on a uh, Bach 111, which is like a small DC-9 and then I got a chance to go to work for American Airlines as a pilot so I of course took that <laughs> and uh, I stayed with American Airlines for almost 23 years and uh, retired about 10 years ago and uh, been enjoying the good life ever since. I wound up buying this airplane which was the second airplane that I ever bought built in 1979. They built about 2,500 of these airplanes uh, to be a trainer in competition with the Cessna 150, 152s. It's a great little airplane, has excellent overhead visibility, big canopy, it's nice and wide, wider than the Cessna, so you have lots of shoulder room when you're in it. It has a little four-cylinder engine in it uh, that produces uh, from the factory about 112 horsepower. I modified it up to about 125 horsepower, which gives me significantly higher cruising speed over a standard Tomahawk. Uh, standard Tomahawks typically will cruise about 95, 97 knots. And I, with this modification and a couple other little things I've done, I can actually cruise at about 112 knots, which is pretty good for a little airplane. Burning about uh, seven and a half gallons an hour at that. So it's really a very economical airplane. Currently, it has um, about 2,400 hours on it now which is still real low time for this fleet. Uh, put new interior in it, all new instrument panel from start to finish. If I added a Aspen 1500 evolution system to it and all the EI gauges for oil pressures, engine analyzer, fuel flow, everything that EI offered eight years ago when I was going through the panel, I bought including a voice enunciation system. And so I recently just added uh, a Garmin G5 to it all right, anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. Right, I think we've covered fly? everything. Yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. One of the great things about a small and light airplane like this is just how easy it is to pull out of the hangar. The plan for the day was to fly east out of Eagle Nest over to Lancaster where we had lunch and then a quick flight back to Eagle's Nest. Mixture's full rich. I'll shoot just a little squirt or two of prime to it in a couple of days since I started it. Okay, the brakes are parked, the propeller is clear, and my tow bar is right over there leaning up against the uh, chairs. Yeah. And that way I know I'm not starting with the tow bar attached. <laughs> right, yeah. Which is, would be an expensive mistake. That would be very expensive. <laughs> Fuel pump's on, and then we're down to starting the engines. Okay. Clear! Okay. Started right up. Yeah, hard to start. Yeah. <laughs> the Aspen system is up, as you can see, real nice little display. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. And uh, it's loading up the database. The database is actually fed off my 
430 was, and it pushes it to the, uh, the my multifunction display on the Aspen. Also, I have, uh, I'm 2020 compliant on this airplane. Yeah, uh, ADS-B out and all that? Uh-huh, I have ads in and out, and you can see there's an airplane out there at uh, about probably 25 miles that we're already picking up. Oh, really? Yeah. Eagle's Nest traffic. Tomahawk 2324 Delta is taxiing southbound on the runway for a north takeoff at Eagle's Nest. Any traffic at Eagle's Nest, please advise. Alrighty. Listen, don't hear anybody. Haven't been hearing anybody. So we'll taxi on out. Winds are out of the north at about probably 12 to 15 knots. It really cleared up. Yeah, it's looking nice. Isn't yeah, it? it's a nice day. So we're taxiing down here. We checked the compass systems are working. A little bit of a right turn checks. A little bit of a left turn checks good. And now I'm going to tune my GPS. Direct Kilo Lima November Charlie activate. Confirm Kilo Lima November Charlie direct. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just put that in. That's really good. Nice. <laughs> And loads it into the route here yeah. and here and here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Pre takeoff, we got the flaps at zero. Fuel pump will be on now. Mixture's full rich. Primary's locked. Oil pressure's good. Oil temperature's good. Fuel pressure's good. Eagles Nest traffic, Tomahawk 2324 Delta departed. Runway 35, Eagles Nest. Any traffic at Eagles Nest, please advise. Trying to watch for traffic and not do too much other than okay. watch for traffic. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, mixture's up. Here we go. Stand by for acceleration. Feel that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember the tomahawk. Oh, yeah, now. <laughs> it's tomahawk. Hey, it's all right. All righty, there's about 60 knots, oil pressure still in the green. About time to go flying, so pull back and off we go. A little bouncy today, huh? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's a beautiful day for it, though. Yeah, nice visibility. Yeah, and the cold front came through and just cleared up all the... Oh, the visibility is great. Yeah, got rid of all the crud. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it brings back memories. Does it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Redbird's just yeah. right up here. Exactly. We would come over here and this is our practice area. Oh, yeah. 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 All our air work Used to go down here and do yeah. all the air work. Yeah. We'll just pop up over this little uh, lower deck here. We're still well underneath the Class B airspace. And, uh, get up here it's a little bit smoother and we'll just kind of get running and uh, kind of show you what a tomahawk does it's been modified All right. I typically climb out at about 80 knots uh -huh. which uh, with the extra horsepower you could do that in a tomahawk and, uh, yeah it's pretty fast for a tomahawk <laughs> yeah. 110 knots well here's our true airspeed oh, 116 116 knots <laughs> yeah for a tumble. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah, most of them are 97. Yeah. Yeah, nice little airplane. Yeah. Cool little ride. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're cruising around like down to Houston or anywhere around here, it, you know, it'd be a nice little better drive. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's, uh, it's pleasant to fly. It's smooth. You know, very capable. I said fully IFR. Yeah. And, um, and like I said, not bad here. We're burning uh, 7.8 gallons an hour and threw them out at 114 knots. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, just a great little computer airplane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lancaster traffic tomahawk 2324 Delta, about seven miles to the south. Uh, they land in runway 31, Lancaster. There it is. There it is. 
at Lancaster. Traffic Tomahawk 2324 Delta is four miles to the southeast, straight in runway 31 Lancaster. All right, let's see. Horsepower is good. Have 7.8 gallons remaining, so that's still over an hour's worth yeah. of fuel. So. <laughs> Empty runway. I see the guy taxiing out off the ramp right now. Oh, yeah, there he is. Lancaster traffic, Tomahawk 2324 Delta. Is about a two and a half mile final straight in from lane three one Lancaster. I'm gonna land just a little bit long since we're going to the restaurant. Okay. This thing doesn't use much runway. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Lancaster traffic, Tomahawk 2324 Delta, short final runway 31, Lancaster. Okay, be careful on the hammerheads not to get negative after the rotation. We'll do that. <laughs> Hang on. There it is. Nice and smooth. Yeah, it is, but yeah, having that T-tail like that gives it pretty good, you know, uh, elevator authority. A lot, yeah, sure does. Uh, if you're not careful, you could, you could hit the tail, but you'd have to be trying awful hard, yeah, because the tail is so high on this thing. So it was a short taxi into the airport terminal where we could grab some lunch. And then another takeoff and a quick flight, only about eight miles back to Eagle's Nest. His Tomahawk has been featured in Piper Magazine, and so is his other airplane, a Piper 235, which we hope to see in a few weeks. All right, Tom, thank you so much. Hey, Bobby, thanks for coming out, thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nice hey. flying with you, too. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, I know. It was great. It's, it's great. Do it again. It's a great airplane. It's obviously the best Tomahawk I've ever seen. So <laughs> probably the best Tomahawk out there. So Maybe the best in the world. Maybe so. We'll come back next time take a look at your 235. Hey, look forward to it. Okay. Yeah. Talk to you later. Thank you. Okay, so that was the Piper Tomahawk. If you're interested in having your airplane looked at, send me a message down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like it really a lot, you can check out patreon.com slash flyingdoodles, and that's kind of how we uh, fund this whole project.